My name is Imad Kendall. I'm a professor of surgery here at Tulane. I'm the director of the endocrine and oncological surgery program at Tulane. And my practice is focused on treating patients with thyroid problems. So my practice is focused on thyroid surgery. I perform hundreds of these procedures a year. And for years, I've been very interested in uh, performing procedures to avoid surgical interventions. And I do have a lab, and in my lab, we've done many research projects related to these procedures. But finally, the FDA recently approved uh, RFA radiofrequency ablation for patients with thyroid problems, and this was great news. So I decided to incorporate this in my practice to offer this great addition to our patients so they can have the option of undergoing these procedures. The radiofrequency ablation of thyroid nodules is a new technology, and when you talk to patients, you need to explain this. And many of these patients will have some concerns about trying something new. But when you discuss with them the data and you discuss with them their options, the vast majority of them are really interested in uh, undergoing this procedure. For years, we've been offering thyroid surgery to treat many of these thyroid problems, and many of these patients now can completely avoid the surgical intervention altogether with all possible complications related to thyroid surgery by having this procedure done, by having radiofrequency ablation done. If you choose the right patient, the outcome is very impressive. These patients are extremely happy patients. Many of them, they were just offered surgical intervention, general anesthesia. They were offered surgery. It's an operation. No matter who's going to do the operation, there's still possible risk of complication. Even if the risk of complication is extremely low, it's not 0%. And now with radiofrequency ablation, this is really a minimally invasive intervention that can avoid the vast majority of these surgical uh, procedure com uh, related complications. And so these patients can come in, just have the procedure done, and within a very short time, they're back uh, to the work same day. Uh, there is no general anesthesia, there is no surgical scar, there is no operation. Um, so the outcome is very impressive. These patients are very happy patients. When I perform these minimally invasive procedures, the patient is fully awake. I'm actually talking to them. In my experience, this procedure takes few minutes. I um, talk to the patient during the entire procedure. I examine their vocal cords at the end of the procedure to make sure everything is perfect. And uh, these patients do usually very well. I check on them later on in the clinic with an ultrasound exam to, to see the effect uh, on, the, uh, on the thyroid mass after the treatment. So far, Every single patient is a very happy patient. However, I had like great stories to tell. My favorite is a patient who is in his 80s. He's been dealing with hyperthyroidism for a very long time. And uh, his endocrinologist learned about uh, this technique and uh, that we are offering this here at Tulane. So this patient came to us um, to try to see if he's a candidate or not. And what's really fascinating, it took us like a few minutes to do, perform the procedure. When I saw the patient a few weeks after, he was cured. His hyperthyroidism was completely cured. He was actually hypothyroid, and his mass shrunk 80% over this short period of time. So there was no skin incision, there was no surgery, there was no general anesthesia. He's an elderly patient who cannot tolerate surgery, had no interest in surgical intervention, and this procedure simply cured him within a few minutes. There have been too many publications on this from uh, Asia and from Europe, and finally the FDA approved this procedure here in the United States. And our patient has the right to have access to this modality. I really think it's the future. It's not going to completely replace uh, all the surgical procedure that we perform, but it will definitely replace a significant number of these procedures. Um, and these patients should have the option and should be aware of their options. And um, I'm very interested in uh, offering this to my patient, but also teaching other physicians about uh, this new technology that will make a huge impact on the way that we treat our patients.